A new study has found 25 genes believed to cause obsessive compulsive disorder. More than 50,000 people with the condition had their genetic data compared to those who did not. For more analysis, we're joined now by Professor of Psychiatric Genetics at QIMR, Berkhofer Medical Research Institute, Eska Dirks. Really appreciate you making the time for us. Thank you so much. In layman's terms, just explain for us what you found out about the genetic basis of OCD. Yeah, so as you say, we compared the genetic profiles of 50,000 patients with OCD, um, with 2 million people who don't have OCD. Um, and we found 30 regions on the genome that are linked to OCD, and 25 of the genes in these regions um, are likely to cause OCD. That doesn't mean they're the only genes that contribute. Uh, there will be more genes to be found in our like new studies in the future. Um, but it's really interesting, and we found these genes are also linked to anxiety disorders, uh, Tourette syndrome, and anorexia nervosa. And was that a surprise that there is an overlap with these other mental health conditions? We were sort of expecting that. We know from the clinic that if you're diagnosed with one mental health condition, it's also more likely you have another one. Uh, so we know there's a link in the clinic, but it's still really important information to know which genes play a role exactly. So what does this mean for treatment options? Yeah, so now this is very exciting. We found these 25 genes that um, contribute to OCD risk. Um, the next step that we will be working on in the future is um, identifying existing drugs that target these 25 genes and that can then be repurposed uh, to treat OCD. So it means uh, more treatment opportunities for those who are suffering from this really debilitating condition. And what does that now look like for you in terms of the research that needs to be carried out to, to ensure that you can get to that, that result of having much better treatment for people yeah, suffering yeah. sort of um, issues? Yeah, so we will be working on this in the coming years, uh, me and my team and other researchers. We've already started new data collection also for genetic data, but we do need more funding. Um, like, especially OCD is really underfunded. There's, there's not so much awareness of it, um, even though more than 500,000 Australians uh, do suffer from this condition. So we really need more funding to continue our research to be able to do this work. Professor Esker Dirks, really uh, wishing you best of luck with that research going forward and, and really appreciate you sharing your findings with us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Good afternoon.